As a huge fan of the silliness and variety of experiences that the Jackbox Party Packs have delivered over the years, whether playing with family or friends, their strength has always been their unpredictability. While for the most part, up to this point, the various party games they've featured have been all ages affairs, there are absolutely some that can turn very adult with the right audience. Now, with the release of the upcoming Naughty Pack, it appears that Jackbox is taking a crack at leaning into that fact to see what can come of that. Having had the opportunity to check out a press presentation about the game and get to even play some of it, I figured I'd share my thoughts before it gets formally released. Starting with faking it all night long, we have a game that immediately screams out of the starting gate, helping you get an idea of what you're in for. Taking a format they've used before, where everyone within the playgroup is given the same prompt except for one person, based on the answers each person gives the goal, is for everyone else to suss out the one who's lying. Of course, even if you're the liar, you'll have the opportunity during discussion to try to throw everyone off of your scent, hoping to make someone else get pointed at. What's different this time is that the prompts are far more in the direction of an old-school purity test or aggressive session of Never Have I Ever. This may make it a risky proposition for multi-generational play, or perhaps with friends who you may not want to air too much dirty laundry with. But for the right group, it would likely be a blast. Kudos for including an option for remote play to try to help people play it without all being in the same room as well. This is followed up by Dirty Drawful, which takes the pretty consistently fun drawing game in a decidedly more wild direction. Here, each player will get a typically bizarre or awful prompt with the goal being to try to draw it well enough to get your friends to guess what it was supposed to be. While the drawings themselves tend to be pretty terrible, given the time constraints and the limits of drawing on a whiteboard on your phone, the fun here is really in how creative people's guesses are. Given that you get points for pulling people towards your interpretation of the image, it's a real challenge to come up with something that isn't only plausible, but also somehow as twisted and outright bizarre as most of these real prompts tend to be. As I found with the original Drawful, one of its strengths is that it can be very fun, even with a bunch of people who are terrible artists. The fun is really in what people come up with as the prompts. The last of the bunch is Let Me Finish, which taps into a third general game type they've regularly featured, where the goal is to be the best or most persuasive speaker in your group. But this time around the prompts you'll have to work with are decidedly more complicated and potentially embarrassing to discuss. Of the three, I think this will be the wild card of the bunch since based on previous versions of this idea, while they may be fun, the variance in how good or bad people are at it can be quite a large gap. You can certainly try to do what you can to foul the strong speakers up, but in the end some people are just very good at improvising, and some people aren't. All things considered, this feels like a solid, though admittedly safe, attempt for Jackbox games to get more than one lane going potentially. Sticking with three templates for game types that they've had some success with, and then spicing them up seems like a sound strategy. Given some success, I'd hope they could next tackle more adult versions of the likes of Quiplash, Fibbage, and perhaps even Earwax for some heavily inappropriate fun potentially. We'll see how it goes when the Jackbox Naughty Pack releases next month. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this preview. And if you'd like more information or ideas of indie games worth checking out on Switch, be sure to click on the link provided in the description. Until next time.